Welcome to the channel Tech Base. You can get global latest technological news in daily video. Please subscribe this channel. For most people, the birth of a chip is very complicated, and it needs to go through three major links, design, manufacturing, and packaging. Every link has to use a lot of core technology, covering the global industrial chain from software to hardware. However, the state of chip globalization has changed, and a lot of R&D needs to be done by ourselves. The good news is that Chinese chips have made breakthroughs in design and packaging. What is the specific progress? How does the chip industry return to globalization? China's chips have made breakthroughs in two major links. Chips seem insignificant, but they have a huge impact on all walks of life around the world. It has brought mankind into the modern era, and various information technologies have developed rapidly. But how was the chip born? What links will it go through? First of all, starting from the chip design process, IC chip design manufacturers need to obtain EDA industrial software and set the functional framework on the basis of ARM or x86 architecture, layout, and control the modular functions of the chip. The operating performance and type positioning of this chip are almost all done by the design. After the chip is designed, the pattern will be handed over to the manufacturer and enter the manufacturing process. Under the action of high temperature, silicon with a purity of about 99.9% .9 is extracted from the gravel, and then manufactured into silicon wafers, which are then polished into wafers. Use a lithography machine to expose the chip pattern on the surface of the wafer, and the wafer will be densely covered with hundreds of exposed chips. These chips are diced from the wafer to form individual chips. At this point, you can enter the packaging link. The package manufacturer will package the finished chip in a protective case. Relatively speaking, the work content of the packaging industry will be simpler, but as Moore's law is about to reach its limit, the post-Moore era will focus on the development of the packaging industry, open up the road to advance packaging, and use different packaging processes to improve chip performance to a greater extent. In the design, manufacturing, and packaging links of chip birth, Chinese chips broke out again, and breakthroughs were made in the two major links of design and packaging. Let's look at the design first. Lungsen Zhongka's 3A6000 will be taped out. Lungsen Zhongka is a domestic general-purpose CPU chip design manufacturer. It has self-developed the long arch instruction set architecture and developed 3A5000-3C5000L chips based on this architecture. 3A6000 is an iterative product based on independent design, and the research and development has been completed. And according to the news from Godson Jonka, this chip has been delivered and taped. This means that another self-developed chip processor of Lungsen Zhongka has made key progress, and for major domestic software and hardware manufacturers, there is an additional compatible and adaptable platform to accelerate the construction of domestic information technology systems. Next, look at packaging. JCET has completed mass production of 4 nanometers chip packaging. In the domestic integrated circuit packaging industry, JCET is an industry giant. The company has completed the mass production of 4 nanometers chip packaging and realized the shipment of 4 nanometers level system integrated packaging products in chiplet technology. Maybe some people are relatively new to the packaging industry and they don't know what a small chip is. To put it simply, Packaging belongs to the back-end manufacturing of the chip industry. On the basis of the finished chip, 
the packaging method of the lead frame is changed, and the advanced packaging process is used to adjust, improve, and optimize the chip performance. As for small chips, it is one of the development paths in the post-more era. Two bare chips with different functions are integrated heterogeneously, and complex packaging technology is completed with the support of high-density and high-precision technology. In this way, the two chips are integrated into one system on chip, and the performance is expected to achieve a qualitative leap. Good news has come from the design and packaging links of Chinese chips, and the manufacturing link that everyone is concerned about is still actively exploring. In contrast, the manufacturing industry has higher requirements for capital, talents, and core technology, so it also takes time. How does the chip industry return to globalization? Chip is a system-level industry, and independent manufacturing cannot be completed by mastering one link. Even if South Korea's Samsung can complete chip design and manufacturing, it may not be able to stand at the top of the packaging industry. Moreover, Samsung also needs to purchase photolithography machines from ASML in the Netherlands to manufacture chips, and purchase photoresist materials from Japan. Only with the support of the industrial chain can the chip industry operate stably, and all links can be connected in series. This reflects the importance of chip globalization. However, due to the rules, the state of chip globalization has been broken, and the cooperation between suppliers and clients has not been smooth, resulting in blockage of resource circulation. So how should the chip industry return to globalization? In fact, it takes time. At present, one way to restore the stability of the industrial chain is to rely on self-reliance and solve core technology demand problems through independent research and development. As N.I. Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, said, core technologies cannot be bought or exchanged. It means that the core technology has to rely on its own research and development. Once they have mastered most of the core technologies, they will be the ones who will be affected if others do not ship them. It doesn't make sense to lose the market and make a large number of chips, and it is possible to hoard a large number of chips and throw them in your own hands. With the support of the global industrial chain, the chip guarantees the operation of hundreds of industries around the world and facilitates technological progress. Today, TSMC and Samsung are competing towards 3 nanometers, but if the chip industry maintains the status quo and cannot obtain global resources smoothly, even TSMC will face the situation of losing high-quality customer resources. It is hoped that chips can return to globalization as soon as possible, so that all industrial links can operate stably and jointly build an industry ecology. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.